Hello my dear friends, today my energy is on another level after seeing your enthusiastic participation. Your messages are like full of positivity although I haven't been able to reply to each of you personally but definitely I'll be responding soon. Thank you so much for your patience and support. Now let's keep this momentum going. Today we will start with some new concepts and fresh tasks. So let's start this journey together. Yesterday we did the project setup part and today for day 2 we will understand our food ordering system. The tools that we will use will be select where order by and limit. The data set will be same online food system that we used yesterday. Jo humne kal use kiya tha. Wohi data set hum aaj bhi use karenge. Or throughout this project mein wohi data set hum use karenge. Now what you have to do, you have to forget everything else. Only just focus on these four concepts that are select, where, order, by and limit. Firstly, we will discuss them one by one in a very quick manner. And before we begin, please don't forget to switch on your analytical brain. Keep your focus here only guys. Now see, select, where, order, by and limit. We will start with the limit firstly. So what this limit does? As we know, we have seen yesterday so many tables, there were so many columns and so many rows, right? So if we want to see a particular output where some particular rows are involved only, we don't want to see the whole data. If there are 1000 rows, then we don't want to see the 1000 rows, okay? We only want to see 10 rows. That's enough for us. In such cases, we use limit, okay? Now. What is the function of order by? Now, if you want to see those rows in ascending order or descending order, suppose the column we want to see is the amount column. Okay. And if we want the result in ascending order, then we will use order by. Right. So limit is used to see some limited rows. Order by is used to see the data in ascending or in descending order now where so what this where does it basically filter some rows on what basis suppose you want to see some rows for a specific thing uh, let's assume this amount is for some companies company one company two company one company one okay now if we want to see the amount for company one only then what you will do you will have to use this filter okay and there you will write where company is equal to one in that case the data the output that you will get will only for the company one the remaining data will not be shown to you correct now come to this select statement so whatever column you want to see in your output window we are performing these queries to get some output right so in that output window what column basically you want that column can be anyone's name amount company's name or you want to see the average of amount or you want to see the sum of amount so whatever column you want in the output section those columns you have to mention here with the select statement right now now when we have to write the codes so before proceeding with the codes let's understand some logic so this is called syntactical order while writing the code there is some order okay and as per this order we have to write the code is order mein hi hame apna code write karna hota is order mein hi hum apne code ko likhte hain. I am talking only about these five concepts for today's video. Forget the rest of the concepts. Okay. We are focusing fully on these concepts only. Now, don't say that join also comes in between, having also come in between. Okay. We know that you know. But for the today's video, we are focusing on these concepts only. Right. Because for a beginner, it will be easy to give some light food. They can digest that easily. Alright. 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड सिंपली सिंटेक्टिकल ऑर्डर इस ऑर्डर में हम अपने कोट्स को लिखते हैं राइट नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम दैट हाउ टू रिमेंबर दिस ऑर्डर सो दिस इज बेसिकली नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम इसमें आपको वरी करने की बिल्कुल भी नीड नहीं है क्योंकि ये आपको आएगा विद द प्रैक्टिस ओनली आफ्टर प्रैक्टिसिंग यू विल गेट टू नो ऑटोमेटिकली दैट हाउ टू राइट योर कोड इन अ प्रॉपर सिंटेक्टिकल ऑर्डर ओके Now the thing that you need to understand is this: the way in which SQL basically process. So this is the SQL's way of processing. Okay, so now let's understand this in SQL's way. So SQL firstly search with from. When it comes to the from, then it will ask that tell the table in which you want to get the result. So internally. it will reach to the desired table which is customer table suppose right here two columns name and city now after scanning the table sql will jump to the where part okay in where part it will scan what conditions we have mentioned we have mentioned if delhi is city then it will extracts only the delhi's rows and the table that sql gets will be like this now this is the table on which sql will work then sql will jump to this select here it will see what we have selected as our output column so if we have selected the name okay then sql immediately starts creating the output table and in that table it will extract the name column and here internally sql will generate the window with the name column if we have then written the order by and limit then sql will jumps to the order by and it will see what we want we want to see this table in ascending order suppose then sql will convert this table in ascending manner these are alphabetical orders you can see it is written alphabetically so when there are alphabets then the sorting process will be same as the dictionary like in dictionary first comes m then r then t okay so in ascending manner you will get the window like this same as you uh, see something in the dictionary now if you have put the limit also then sql will jump to the limit part and sql will see okay we want or the user want only two rows so then sql will extract these two rows the top two rows and it will give you the result and your final output will be this okay now we will start doing our codings now open your mysql workbench and here we will understand our food ordering system with the help of queries two queries i will demonstrate and rest of the queries you have to perform on your own but if you face any problem while executing the queries then it will not like that i will disappear completely i am here to guide you but to an extent okay so let's start so first of all we have to instruct the sql that we are going to use our database and that is online food delivery database that we have created yesterday so for that we have to write use online food delivery okay this is the name of our database now let's run it and here you can see it's highlighted it means we have entered in this database and these are the tables that we have created yesterday so customers table i hope you all have created all these five tables because this is something that we will use throughout the project so they are our tables correct now our aim is to understand our food ordering system So guys there are some queries that will help us to understand the system and it can be like um, find name and price of all food items costing more than 300 suppose right so what this query signifies so basically it is telling us it is identifying the premium food items on the menu the premium foods premiums are those whose are costly so if the cost is more than 300 then we can put it in the premium category okay now the question arises how to solve this query 
but before writing the code let me explain you something important so as we have seen the syntactical order which is select then from then where guys my handwriting is very good don't fall in this trap as i'm writing right now on a digital board that's why it's coming like this okay but it is enough to make you understand the things so <clears throat> select from where order by and the limit this is the order in which we have to we have to uh, write our code okay so what you have to do you have to read your query you have to read your desired question which is find name and price of all food items okay costing more than 300 so one by one we will go with this initially it will take 2 minutes to uh, understand this concept but later on uh, your brain will work automatically nothing to worry so select means the columns that we want in our output window so what column we want in our output window we want the name and the price right these are the columns that we want from from which table so name and price of the food items are available in which table so you can see it is available in the menu items table here you can see item name and the price right so we have to give the name of the table here and the name of the table is menu item so it is we will here we will write menu item correct now it comes to the where condition do we need to apply any condition do we need of course because it is saying costing should be more than 300 so we want to extract those rows only where price is greater than 300 right now is it saying to get the result in any particular order either ascending or descending it is not saying anything like that so we will skip this is it saying to uh, show the top two rows top five rows or some any limited rows no it is not saying anything like that so we will skip this as well okay so what we want in our code we want select from and the where correct guys now we will start to write the code so here we will write select item name as we want this in our output column and then the price from which table so from menu item table and then we will put the condition so where price is greater than 300 this is it okay suppose here you have some other condition so what you can do uh, if your condition is something like that where item name equals pizza So these are the different different ways we can do the filtering. Okay, so for this particular query, we have to filter it in this way. So now let's run it, and here is your result. You have your item name in the output window, and the price name. Correct. Now, now how you have to take this screenshot? So you have to capture from here till here till this output window result grid. Okay. So this will be your. submission screenshot demo now our second query is to list top 5 cheapest food items if we want to see this detail so how does this query helping us to understand our food ordering system so it is showing it is telling us the most budget friendly offerings these are the budget friendly food items so by doing this analysis our business can uh, basically design some like combo meals or it can offer the discounts on these particular items and many more things that uh, we can do so so after doing this analysis our business can uh, you know design combo meals or offer discounts and many other things like that Now the question in front of us as a beginner what are the columns we have to select what are the, what is the uh, table that can give this result to us and is there any condition that we have to put is there any uh, sorting we need to do or is there any limit uh, limited rows that we want to see in the output so of course limit is here we want the top 5 rows only okay so we have to give the limit but we have to write the code in our syntactical order only so we have to write select firstly now what columns we want in our output window so we want the here it is written cheapest food items right so it 
it means we have to know the name of our food it is item names we want the item name column as well as they are talking about cheapest so price column we want right anything else that we want nothing else we want right so we have to write here menu items oh sorry item name comma price right and then from which table so this data is available in the menu item table so we will write menu item do we need to put any condition here so condition is not visible so we are skipping this where clause now do we need to see the output in any particular order ascending or descending so yes it is saying cheapest it means we want to see the result in ascending order means the lowest price will come at the top and the highest price will come at the bottom so we will write here order by the name of the column price and in ascending order now we want to see only five rows so we'll use limit here and this is it and one more thing guys suppose we haven't mentioned anything here ascending or descending then by default it is ascending here only okay so now let's run this query and here is our result you can see the top five items okay and they are the cheapest one so masala dosa paneer butter masala these are the our top five cheapest items so these are your demonstrated queries guys and it is your today's task so see you guys tomorrow with the day three tasks until then take care keep practicing bye bye